No, ab absolutely. Um, you know, some of the buildings that are being constructed actually include some amenity space for the people that live there. But I think we need to go above and beyond that. And we need to, with our, the work of our mobility hub analysis and studies that are going now around the three GO stations uh, in particular, um, we have to consider public amenity space and what that looks like. And it may not be, you know, traditional, it may not be traditional, but we need to have recreational space and, and public amenity space uh, to create that feeling of neighborhood uh, that we have in some of our more mature neighborhoods. Uh, we, we, there's work is undergoing on that as well. Do you see the need for some new tools for the city to be able to do that? To, to mean to get some funding? Yeah. Yes. Yes. And yes. Land. yes. Land is going to be the big problem. Yeah, we're going to, yeah, we, as I say, we, we have a lot of work to do on this, but we certainly need to look at the funding source and see how we can uh, generate the funds to purchase the amenity space because in a lot of the areas I'm referencing, that area is privately owned now. So we need to figure out a way uh, to acquire it in, in an economical way um, that can create these true family neighborhoods.